Hey, how you doing? Scott back with another video. This one about uh, poker staking in general. Uh, there has been some stories come out. Uh, there's a couple websites out with poker staking. And, uh, you know, I think ideally most poker players feel like, oh, I want to be staked. I'm not using my own money. And I, I would say in general that's uh, mostly correct, right? In business, they tell you don't use your own money. Um, and, and I think that... Uh, is, is something kind of a popular view where I'm on the other side of the fence. Uh, I have been staked mostly in um, shorter capacities with friends making deals, uh, swaps, uh, these type of things. Uh, maybe a friend of mine's like, oh man, you should play this game. Oh, I didn't bring enough money. Okay, I'll loan you this, da 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 da. So we make a deal. And uh, to play that game, uh, other type of deals were. Um, you know, buy, buy in tournaments, so on and so forth. But uh, really, though, that's not really the exciting part of the story. The exciting part of the story is when it hits. Uh, I have been in, uh, in, in 25 years, I've been in some uh, receiving ends and some payout ends of these type of deals. Uh, most of them have, have gone okay. I haven't been stiffed, but... Uh, uh, you know, certainly one of those things where, say you hit for a good amount of money, finally, bang, maybe it's your first score, maybe uh, you know, something along this line, and uh, bang, you know, all of a sudden now you're faced with your buddy over here, your good friend, and, and you have to pay out. Um, so uh, this is, uh, you know, always weird, I, I, I tell you. It's, of course, you want your friend to do well, and uh, there, there's uh, IRS implications. Maybe this is the first time you're holding this much money and uh, you're not sure kind of what to do. I mean, there's, there's a lot of emotion, you know, going on in your mind, maybe girlfriend and, and fiance or whatever, and she's influencing some of that too. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I think, uh, generosity is also there too. I, everybody wants to be Robin Hood and be the man of the day and, and, you know, uh, <laughs> do, do great things. And I think that's, uh, most poker players, but I, I feel from my career and what I've done, I say, you know, staking deals in general are, 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 are not great, not great for relationships. Uh, you know, somebody's always hurt. Somebody's always uh, losing. We, um, one time, kind of an interesting story. Uh, it was uh, common for me and a few friends to drive down and play this uh, uh, tournament at the Commerce. And uh, most of the time it went okay. I, Right, because uh, basically we all drove down there to play this tournament, and boom, we'd be bounced out. Maybe uh, you know one or two of us would be left doing nothing for a little while, and then boom, we'd all pile in the car and drive home. Uh, home being a few hours away. Um, one night, one of us uh, placed like fifth in the tournament. It was a a very 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 long night, and uh, of course, it qualified for a. Um, you know, a bit of, a, you know, a payout to the, uh, to all the other members. And what it turned out being was, uh, he was down lots of money in cash and then basically, uh, got lucky enough to almost uh, get, get past even obviously, but just barely show a profit and then have to chip off after a very grueling night. And, um, it was a, a confusing and difficult time, actually, because mostly because we were all in the car and all losers uh, for the night. You know, tournament buy-ins and, and whatnot, I don't think anybody had any winners going on. So, uh, he had to pay out and we had to drive home together. So, we were all very grumpy, all very uh, losing, and then all anticipating our, our, our cheese cut off the, uh, the score and and basically on come the discussion so the the kind of story that that circulates and you know like kind of like i was saying i mean this is all fun and games till it actually happens i, I mean 
you know, you buy into the World Series, of course, there's going to be, you know, some scores or, or whatnot, and, uh, you know, or you play tournaments, and, and there's going to be wins, and there's going to be scores, and, you know, hopefully you're on the right side of these type of deals. Uh, ongoing staking, I feel like, is the same way. Oh, you know, you, you showed poor judgment, you stayed in the game, or, um, you know, you should got up, or, or, or whatnot, and... Uh, those kind of conversations are also difficult to have because I, I don't think they're relevant uh, to any situation. Of course, there's going to be arguments, all the game was good, all the game was bad. Um, it, it's just always open to uh, interpretation. And, and I feel like that uh, poker players um, are, are very passionate and stuff like that. So, you know, these deals have a hard time going the distance and, and working out well, and unless they actually work out well, meaning like, uh, boom, you stake somebody in a poker tournament and they go on the win and, you know, you chop up a, you know, nice score. So anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video, poker staking, a little, uh, reminiscent about the old days of, uh, you know, playing cards. Uh, I definitely have lost a lot of friends uh, in, in, in all sorts of situations. Staking, uh, they, they couldn't hold on uh, in, the, in the poker scene forever. They quit and they moved on. Um, family members wanting to make money. Uh, it, it, it really is a strain. I think anybody, if you have any success and stuff like that, people are going to approach you and want to try to tap into that resource too. So... Anyway, give a like, give a thumbs up, uh, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.